In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, I'd like to say and send a special shout out to my people of St. Joseph, Tinapuna, St. Augustine, Shafler, Mongdo, my tower, Toko Sangri Gandhi, and the entire East West Corridor. Love in the house with all of you all the time. Arima. Call all the names. Sao. I would like to thank uh, Councillor Sima and, and Councillor Jalen for their, for their efforts and the previous speakers. I think. They touch on what we all know. The UNC is the only hope for this country. And I will attempt to show you why we have reached uh, to this pass. And it requires a sober look. Throughout the, throughout the centuries, throughout the, the millennia, you, we've had two hypotheses as to why crime occurs. And of course, one of them, posited by, by Plato, was that crime was a result of a faulty education. Now, you can't look at education in narrow terms. It's not an academic education. It's an all-wrong education. It's education, social education, how you're raised in your house, in your home, how you're raised um, to, to serve the people. And the second hypothesis, of course, was poverty is a direct result of crime. And I think both has its place when we look at Trinidad and Tobago, when we look at the education that under Keith Christopher Rowley, especially the last eight years, because we have to focus, eight years, my people, my brothers and sisters, that's two generations. Eight years, that's two generations of people that have come and gone. When we see the, the unbelievable statistics of how many people have failed at the primary school level, at the secondary school level. And we have these people in the PNM posing to us, the citizens of this country, that they are not responsible for all of that. And I know, you know, sometimes we get fed up and we get frustrated. And we talk about, yes, we have to vote. But we also have to educate. We also have to understand why we vote. Because when we go to vote, we don't only go to vote with our finger, we go to vote with our hearts. And that is what we have to understand. The people of the East-West Corridor, when we go to vote, we have to go to vote with our hearts. When we speak to the people of the East-West Corridor, because the East-West Corridor, as you know, is a whole different entity. The East-West Corridor, the people of the East-West Corridor is a whole different, it's not a monolithic group at all. When you look at the African people, the Indian people of the East-West Corridor, you don't know what you get in unless you speak with them. So you can't approach them like you approach any other part of the country. You're gonna fail. So what we do in the UNC, and what Kamala Prasad Bisasa has done so well, she has selected people who reach out to the hearts of the people of the East West Corridor. And that is why this government, what this government is so worried about. They are worried about the kind of people that she has put in place along the East West Corridor. Because we're reaching the hearts and minds of the people. So if, as the previous speaker said, if they want to believe that it's a big win to take somebody who, when he was in the UNC, every meeting he was just in a dashiki. <laughs> and as soon as he go over to the PNM, it's suit and tie. Then we say, go with love. Because I'll tell you something. Look at the kind of leader we have. Look at the kind of, of conscience our leader has. And conscience plays a part in leadership. When I spoke with the leader and I said, and I might get a tongue lashing for this, but I'll take it. I said, the leader, this man blaming me for him leaving the UNC. This man blaming me for leaving the UNC. A man who I saw sit down right where you sat down. When I spoke about Ken Valley and the pedophilia of the PNM, clapping his hands. All of a sudden, I am the reason that he left the UNC. In other words, he not only delivered a slap in the face of Akil Chambers, 
That little long boy, he delivered a slap in the face of all those unprotected black boys in Trinidad and Tobago. All the youth of Trinidad and Tobago. He didn't stand with Akil Chambers. He didn't stand with Ashanti Riley. He didn't stand with Semi and Daniel or Antonio Francois. Who he stood up with? Ken Valley and Keith Rowley. What a shame. But as our leader said to me, Senator, leave him. Let him go with love. What a, what a leader. I was shocked. I was shocked. But I want to say to him, I will let you go with love only because of what our leader said. But I'll tell you, don't talk about naked. Because you could ask anybody. Before I was a member of the UNC, I was advocating for all the youth of Trinidad and Tobago, including Akil Chambers. And I'll go you one further. I'll tell you what real principle is. In 1997, before I was put in jail in Lebanon, you know the PNM like to talk about, I was jailed in Lebanon. I, I was jailed for poor people. I was jailed for black disadvantaged youth in Lebanon. I will take that and wear it like a medal on my chest. And let me tell you who I am. When FIFA came in to intervene, they sent a fellow called Abdullah Al-Dabal. Jack Wanna knows this story well, in case the journalists want to check. He sent everybody out of the room and he said, Nakid, we'll give you an improved contract. We'll give you better conditions. All you have to do is say that the African players you advocated for, they encourage and instigate it. That's all you have to do. What a moment on the road to Damascus. What a moment on the road to Damascus. I don't know what that. In one minute, I had to do some soul churching. He said, we'll give you improved conditions. All you have to do. I know, because he tell me, on that door is jail. On that door, you get back all your status. Superstar status. A superstar in Lebanon. I tell him, well, what happened to the African players? He said, all of them going back home. And I know what going back home, Liberia, Sierra Leone, Ghana, in other words, back to poverty. I told him no, because that is who Tahaka Obika I am. <laughs> Nobody can come with no 30 pieces of silver Tahaka Obika and give me. <laughs> go, go with love, as our, leader, as our leader said. Go with love. Nobody knows anybody's circumstances here. I don't know what is your circumstance at home. Maybe you need to go. But don't put that name in your mouth as no so good. Don't try to be no moral arbiter here for the UNC. The UNC is the party that stands in the gaps for all the people of China and Tobago. The UNC is the party on this Labor Day, I can tell you that settled 135 ways negotiations to a tune of over six billion dollars. UNC is the party that had Kamala Prasad Bissessa in June, July, and August months catering for 21,000 students of China and Tobago with two different summer camps. You know what that does? This summer, when you see all the boys in Mova, Lavantil, Mongdo, just lining on the street, what Kamala Prasad Bissessa had them? had them in camps, whether it was for literacy, whether it was for sport, with over 80 identification of talent identification officers. 21,000 people. That is performance. Do you know old talk? Don't tell me you love black people by showing up in Adashiki every time UNC have a meeting. And when PNM, you're with PNM next to Rowley in a suit and red tie, all of a sudden you forget about black people. You hugging up the most reprehensible people that this country has ever seen? And don't expect David Nakit to talk, but I will call you out. Keith Christopher Rowley has never cared for the youth of Trinidad and Tobago. So I just want to show you something. Archie, show them. I was up and down the East West Corridor today. Today, when everybody enjoying the morning, I take a drive. Look. In all, that is in front of RBCT. Show the next one, Archie. I take pictures. I could have taken 500 pictures if I wanted. Every bus stop, 
every park, every cemetery, everywhere that have a space. Show the next one, Archie. Show the next one. That is our people at the East West Corridor. That is our people at China and Tobago. Doesn't matter. African, Indian, mix up. That is them under King Christopher Ali. Now show King Christopher Ali, Archie. Show Chris King Christopher Ali. Why is this going on again? Yes, that is Kiki Safaroli. He is from the line. Everybody else, look, look, look. That is our people. That is our people. Shame on you, Kiki Safaroli. Shame on you, Abika. Shame on the PNM. If there is our people here in Tehran, they go. That is what they are going through. And you in a conga line. You in no problem. You and your family dancing around. So no problem. So no problem. For still your young family and them together. No problem. Far away we family together. No, him but happy like puppy. But look here, look here. He can rhyme. He in a conga line. No problem for him. So when we look at the disparity, social disparities, and we know. That this crime surge that we see from the youth, and, the, and you know this PNM government, that not only encouraged and facilitated this crime surge. What we see, the crimes, the murders, the home invasions, all of that is a revolution. As the philosopher said, poverty is a cause of revolution and crime. It's a revolution, but not a political revolution. It's a social revolution. These youths are telling us. They're crying all for help. We do, as the UNC, we don't agree with any lawbreaker. From the time you cross that line, we agree with punishment. But I can't ask you to tell me what is calculus without first teaching you what is calculus. I can't tell you to be a good, upstanding citizen without giving you the tools to be a good, upstanding citizen. But if you actually know, not him, he's responsible for that. Rory is responsible for that. He's responsible for a conga line. The rich to get richer. Forget, fire could burn all of you. So it's up to us, people of China and Tobago. And I, this is not a joke. People will come to a party, we, people will go. We have to keep educating the people of the East West Corridor. Don't say no, that is a PNM. We cannot say that. We are the National Party of Trinidad and Tobago. The UNC the, is the only party that represents everybody. We don't just bring in their names and African names for the optics of it. We are African and Indian people are the soul of this party. The soul of this party. Our people are the people who people turn to for help. And let me tell you something, come August 14th, Trinidad and Tobago will see the kind of revolution that we want to see. Yeah. Not only with our finger, but with our heart. Because we want you, when you come to vote for the UNC, you come not with this alone. Because we ain't getting nobody no $500 and a jersey. We're giving you education. We're giving you policies. We ain't giving you no one-day one event like Shamfaka Joe or Camille Robinson Regis. We're giving you policies that will sustain you and your family for you and the rest of your life. We're bringing generational wealth to you. That is the UNC. Because UNC is not about events, but about policies. So I urge you, people of Chan Tobago, I urge the people of the East-West Corridor to be led by your conscience because that's the ultimate guide towards justice. Trinidad and Tobago, loving your house all the time. This is a message to the nation. <laughs>